or controversy they're taking up on that proposed customs terminal at Bergstrom Airport. That's five and a half million bucks. But they may not get it finished in time for mid-November when the Formula One race is here. Still, they say they want to use that terminal to try to lure international flights to come to Austin. And finally, there's some controversy over a six-member trip that city officials are taking to London next week to watch a Formula One race. The mayor's going, the city manager's going, the police chief, the fire chief, and two other city staffers. Six people in all. F1's going to pay for part of that, but the city is chipping in 5400 for four of the air flights. Still, staffers say it's an invaluable lesson because the track here resembles the one that's in England. The track at Silverstone closely mimics what we have here in Austin, where the track in Elroy is actually removed from downtown Austin, yet all the activity occurs in the next largest city. So for Austin, Silverstone replicates the exact same situation that we've got here. And that's what we want to do is we want to go over there and find out what we couldn't find out via conference call. One item did not make the cut today. Councilwoman Kathy Tobo got them to table. A request by Austin police for a new $4 million helicopter. It just won't fly. Right now, the fleet for APD is two choppers. One of them, 40-year-old surplus shift without any of the bells and whistles of the modern aircraft. At City